Okay, so today's tutorial is how to make that graffiti text that people have been using a lot in Cinema 40 and stuff for their backgrounds. And here I'll show you an example. Here, like this, this type of graffiti text. And it's actually really simple and I thought I might as well just show you guys how to do it. Okay, so first you want to go to this place. I'll put the link in the description. Graffiti creator dot net slash htm slash fonts dot mine dot htm. Then you just put whatever you want. I'll just I'll just make a B. You want to generate it. Then if you have this on your computer, just type it in type it in snipping tool. You can there's other ways to do it, but this just seems like the easiest. And then just go highlight over it, just this part. Save it to wherever you want to. Okay. Now, you want to take this picture and you want to drop it into Photoshop. Okay. Then all you want to do is you want to take this magic wand tool, go over here, just click it, and you want to go to paths, and this little circleish thing two hours coming off it make work path from selection you want to do that then you want to go to file export path to illustrator okay save it let me just close out of that now then you want to go to cinema and then merge let me find it. Here it is, capture.ai. That's what it'll be. And you have to export to Illustrator just because I don't know why. You have to do that just to get stuff like that in cinema. It's kind of weird. One sec. There we go. Looks like I just had to change the settings a little. Kind of messed up. Okay, well, let me put my render back on my render settings so it's 16 by 9. Okay, now. But now that you got that in there, you got your one. Then you want to go to Extrude Nerves. Make this a child of that. Then it's already 3D. And might as well go to Extrude Nerves Movement. You want to go to this one and up it. I usually up it. Depends on how big it is since I guess that's pretty good. And if you have more text, like let's say, I'll just copy and paste, but let's say you had more like this. You want to align it. You want to make it look all graffiti-like. Like, so maybe take the middle one, pull it back, pull this one in. Maybe pull this one back a little bit more. Maybe turn this one in or something. Yeah, it just, it looks kind of funny though because it's not a. They're all different text. Let me add this. My lighting. I got from grayscale. Ooh. Is that a floor? One sec. <laughs> Let me go up here. Top view, there we go. That's what I want. There we go. Get some light. And, yeah, this is pretty much just all the, just a simple 3D text. It's actually really easy, a lot easier than it looks and then you can just add, let's just add a nice color to it I guess just show you guys what how I do my colors let's just do blue oops okay let's do blue Well, 
that's no good. Just <laughs> doesn't want to work right now. Okay, let's do red. And then let's do green. Or yeah, that looks nice. Okay. So blue, or red, blue, and green. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And we got some pretty nice reflections here. I don't even... I just put the floor on just to show the shadows, but... Yep. And then, if you're making a background, what you want to do is you want to go to... When you render, you just want to go to current frame. Save it to your desktop. As whatever. You want to go to... You want to save it as a PNG and check alpha channel. So there's no background to it at all. There's no black background, so it doesn't look all see-through and stupid. And so, yeah, it turns out perfect. And so when you render it, it you go to Photoshop. Let me grab this picture. Oops. Okay, let me just open up a basic background layout, I guess. Make sure I don't have anything saved on it. Okay. Then you want to just, for these, just go here, drop it on, and it puts no background at all. So it's just the text, and it looks nice. And that is my tutorial for today.